Hi! For my first YouTube video, I'm gonna answer one of the most asked questions since I started posting digital art, and that is what brushes I use in Procreate. So I'm going to show you some of the brushes I tried so far, free, purchased and also my own. And I wanna start off by saying when you try out brushes, please keep in mind to always play with the size and opacity of the brush because it does make a great difference. The first brush I'm gonna show you is the 6B pencil, which is from Procreate. I use this one for sketching mostly, adding details and stuff like that. And I think it's really one of the best sketching brushes Procreate has. But for the way I like to start my sketches, I think it's a little bit harsh, which is why I like to block in the main shapes of the drawing with the next brush I'm gonna show, which is the HB pencil. This one has really great texture and it's softer, therefore easier to start sketching big shapes. If you play around with the size of the brush, you can also use it for finishing touches, which is what I did for quite a while. Usually when I start sketching, I like to lower the opacity of the brush so everything is nice and transparent so I can plan the overall shape of the drawing. The next one is the Narinder brush, also from Procreate, which I used a lot this October. It has really nice texture and I used it together with the 6B pencil for all of the Inktober drawings I did this year. So just to show you some examples, here is one of my favorite drawings and this is how the pencils look together. I absolutely love the grainy texture it has. The next brush is Marcia Palomba's sketch brush, which is for free on Gumroad. And let me tell you, this is one of my all time favorites. When I used this brush, literally every other comment was What brush did you use? And I'm gonna be honest, I use this brush for everything start to finish. I use this for sketching, details, rendering, lighting, highlights, you name it. Once again, I played with the size and opacity of the brush depending on whatever I wanted to achieve. Here are some examples to show you that it works amazing as highlights as long as you set the right layer mode which for me is add, vivid light or maybe even hard light. It looks like I added noise to the drawing but it's just the grain of the brush which is amazing. The next brush I'm gonna show you is from the amazing Jing Sketch Basics brush set. I used most of the brushes in this pack because they are really 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 good for a beginner artist but also for professionals I think. Honestly this round sketch brush is amazing but I do like myself some more texture which is why I didn't use it as much but I did make my own brush that has just the right amount of texture for me. I don't think it mimics the real pencil texture, but I do like the way it looks in all of the sketches I did so far. I also use it for finishing details like hair strands, stuff like that. Again, this is an example of my last drawing I did for December to show you how my sketch brush looks and the texture it has.
As I said before, I like to start off my sketches with big shapes, no details whatsoever and that's why I made the grainy sketch brush which helps me focus on the bigger picture of the drawing instead of making me zoom in for every single detail. I can go ahead afterwards on a different layer and sketch the details with another sketch brush or even this one if I make it smaller. I also made a clean sketch brush because I actually made a poll on Instagram asking what brushes do you guys use and a lot of people answered that they use clean brushes so I felt like I should add a clean sketch brush for everyone who prefers them. The next brush is again one of my all time favorites and it's the Sharp Render from the Jing Sketch Basics brush set as well. When I tell you I use this brush religiously for the past year, I mean it. It has amazing texture, amazing flow and I generally like square tip brushes because you get some nice shapes out of it like I'm gonna show you in this example right here it's great for bigger details highlights lighting whatever you need this brush has it I cannot stress this enough but as long as you also play with the opacity the size of the brush and the layer modes which are very very important as well this brush will not let you down look at this soft texture amazing <laughs> the next one is from eric anthony j's painters brush pack which I got for $15 or something like that from Gumroad but I'm gonna be honest with you and say that I only used this one from the whole set because most of the brushes are clean and the rest I just couldn't find anything to use them for but maybe I just didn't know how to use them because his artworks are quite amazing and they work for him obviously <laughs> but this one has really nice color dynamics as you can see Now the charcoal block is hands down my favorite render brush from Procreate. I used it a lot because if you lower the opacity you can obtain really really nice shading and I also used it for finishing details, especially hair strands. Those are always my favorite. Again it works really great for lighting and highlights but i do have to mention that i made some changes to it and i can't remember what i did exactly so i'm just gonna let you pause here if you're interested to change it too i don't think i changed much but i remember i did something to it Alright, the next brush is from Matt's Painting Procreate Brush Set and sadly while editing this video I saw that they are no longer for sale but because it was really appreciated by many of my followers I thought I would introduce it anyway just in case it comes back. I was asked on every platform I posted these drawings what brushes do I use so I thought it would be a shame not to show it even though you can't get it at this moment. I got the brush set for free and only used the bristle brush which again has amazing texture if you press gently and build up the colors. It worked really really well for lighting and highlights as well as you can see in these examples. Now the gouache brush is actually the first brush I ever used for rendering and it's from Procreate. I'm not using it anymore, but for all of you out there who like to have smooth drawings, this one's for you. While I was using this, I was always asked if I used the blending tool because my drawings used to look so smooth 
and I would answer that I just use the gouache brush with very low opacity and build up the colors as I go to get this effect. It does work good for lighting but not so much for strong highlights to be honest. Like for this drawing I couldn't use it for the highlights but I did use it for lighting. Next I'm showing you my own render brush which fits my current art style perfectly. I like the fact that it has texture but not so much that it would look weird while rendering skin or other smooth surfaces. I also use it for details, hair, lighting and highlights. I made a round render brush as well which is pretty much the same but once again a lot of people prefer it over the square tip brush so I thought why not include this one as well. For extra grain I use the grainy brush mostly for backgrounds and clothing or like any other object that might look interesting with some more texture. Now, the bristle brush I only used for hair and hair strands, honestly. I haven't used it for anything else yet, but it might come in handy later on. And here's an example of how my brushes look on my December post. As I said before, I really like how the render brush looks on skin. I feel like it's not harsh at all, but still adds some nice texture to it. Then the brush I cannot live without is the eyelash brush, because the 40% streamline I added to it makes it really really easy to draw eyelashes. Now, every time I try to draw on camera, I get really really nervous, but I tried my best to make it look good, so don't come at me. A really nice glitter brush I used to use for the highlights is from this brush set, also for free. I will not try to pronounce her name because I legit don't wanna butcher it, but yeah, here's how it looks. Of course I made my own glitter brush because I use highlights so much in my drawings that it would have been weird not to. And here's how it looks. You can also play around with it and choose different colors, different layer modes and so on. A freckles brush I really enjoy is from the same artist. I really like that it has different shapes of dots. But one thing I did not like was the jitter. So I did end up modifying that a bit. And of course I also made my own freckles brush because I use this kind of brush so much and this is how it looks. The last one from my set is the noise brush which I used so far only for specific details like flowers, clothing and maybe for the background a little bit. A brush that has this kind of texture and is also for free you can find in the same Matt's painting brush set that is no longer available. <laughs> Sorry for that. If I knew it wasn't on Gumroad anymore I would have probably cut it out of the video. <laughs> but it is what it is. But yeah, 
these were the brushes I used so far. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please help me out by liking and subscribing and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see from me in the comments below. Also, I do apologize for my accent. English is not my first language and I'm sure everyone at home is cringing all the way. <laughs> but I really think that in order to evolve, I need to step out of my comfort zone. So here's me doing just that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.